Today, I want to touch base on the four essential learning stages. Hello there and welcome back. Francois from HoneyBecomeMore.com. Today, I want to touch base on the four essential learning stages or the stages that you, myself, and everybody else goes through according to knowledge out there. And the first level is basically being unconscious incompetent. That basically means that we don't know. You don't know what you don't know. I don't know what I don't know. It's our blind spots. These are things that we are not aware of. And the saying also goes that what you don't know can hurt you. So therefore, seeking knowledge is a very, very good thing, especially in the coaching business. What you don't know can hurt you. Let's find out what's going on. The second one is to be conscious incompetent. Now, you know about something and you realize that you're not good at it. And this happens in different aspects of businesses. We have to wear so many hats that sometimes it's marketing, sometimes it's branding, social media. There's different things that are out there and we know that we are no good. By the way, I'll, I'll reveal a little something a while back. Someone says, oh, LinkedIn is great. This is now LinkedIn's no good. But through introspection, I came up with the following. Hmm. If others are good and getting great results using LinkedIn and I am not, perhaps it's me. I need to find out. So I realized that I was consciously incompetent about this. So therefore, what's the next trick? The third level is conscious competent. This is the hardest of all the levels. You know that you're learning something, so you're getting better at it but you need to force, you need to use your will, you need to use your strength, you need to use your focus. You get derailed, you come back. It is not a pleasant experience because it's not in the flow, it's not habitual. And the conscious competent zone is one where most people spend their lives. That's why we're tired at the end of the day, but also that's why we quit because we don't get the juice that's enough to actually support us in the fact that we're competent a bit but we need to consciously force ourselves literally to make things happen that third level conscious competent is very very hard to stay in so what's the solution well the solution is level number four and that's the level of mastery it's a level where only people that really know what's going on are able to make things happen and spend less time doing it what's that four level it's called unconscious competent what that means is that the competency or the things that you're supposed to do or that you want to do, you're now mastering it at the unconscious level. You don't need to think about it. It just happens. Let's make a simple example of stick shift or driving a, a standard car. At first, arr, arr, it's very hard. First stage is you don't know, you don't know. The second, when you actually try and do it, you're conscious that you're totally incompetent. And then through the help of someone, keyword here, someone is helping us to speed up the process, coaching. Coaching is the most powerful source on earth to make changes. So with a coach, we can actually become conscious competent. We can be more conscious of shifting gears. It still is a burden and it's hard, but we're doing it. And the fourth level, which is getting to mastery is unconscious competent. Now you're driving stick shift, you're going on the road, the light turns yellow, you know, you can downshift, slow down, and then you put it back in first gear, and then you want to turn left, for example, as the line turns green, you know that you put your flasher, and then you start going, of course, if there's no car, you actually start going, and let's say the phone rings. As the phone rings, you shift in second gear, you press a button through speakers, you actually connect it on the phone, and then you get into third gear, and you can have a conversation. It becomes effortless. And that is the goal that I invite each and every one of you to strive for. One is the main thing to do, this is my, my motto. For information to create transformation, we need integration. And the two best things for integration is repetition and feelings. Feelings is a bad feeling, is not a good thing. A good feeling will make you get better faster. And repetition, do it again and again and again, and there I say again. If it takes 10 times to do something to get good at it, and after the second time that you failed, you stop, you're shortchanging yourself. You're in the conscious competent and, and maybe, maybe even borderline conscious incompetent, not happening. These are very dangerous zones to be in. 
In order to find those, you need to have uh, proprietary questions asked to you and find out where you're good at, where you're not good at, where you want to go, what's 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 the direction you want to go, and where are you right now? And there's a gap in between those two things. And as you find out about these gaps, then you can create a plan to become unconscious competent, to actually be go from one step to the other and through repetition and good feelings, you ingrain it so that it becomes easier for you. In essence, you're doing less efforts and creating more results. If now is the time for you to think that, hmm, I need to become unconscious competent about certain things in my business and in my life so I can spend less energy and be more fulfilled with the things that I need to do, perhaps we should get together. So somewhere around the video, there's gonna be a link for you to connect with me if the time sounds good for you that you realize that you know what i'm sick and tired of being conscious competent and forcing it and 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 being drained from doing it and let get me to the next level of mastery and as i give you this information you can take it and work with it we can work together or i can point you in the direction of someone else either way mastering something comes to a cost your time your efforts your energy but after a certain point when you master something is because you've given it a lot of time. I like to say success is supposed to be like this, but in reality, it's like that. And when it's like that, it's only through repetition to doing it again and again that we can start to develop mastery and enjoy this ride called life. If you haven't already subscribed, do so, and then ring the bell so you can be notified. Let's get together and find out how we can get there faster and easier. And until that time, make it a wonderful day. And by the way, if you feel that this is good too, share it with others and put in the comments, which one do you feel is best for you and where you'd like to attain mastery. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.